the back is served all the things that the actors brought to their characters. And in this moment, uh, this is a great example of how you, you made a choice with this hat to uh, in the episode. Can you talk a little about the story of the hat? Well, one the oh, it works great. <laughs> One of the one of the women who worked in the office knitted a couple of she was a good knitter, gum knitters. She knitted, she knitted well. She made two of two of these. And uh, when I first looked at it, I thought, oh, this is beautiful, great, terrific. And I made a conscious choice to talk with uh, Tim, because Tim, this was the last episode we shot, Tim. Uh, I said, Tim, can I wear it pretty much through the whole episode? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> he was like, mm, I don't know, maybe, maybe that's a little over. I'm, I'm doing it. <laughs> This isn't here, I'm doing it. <laughs> so then I was able to use it to take it off at the, uh, at the end to honor uh, you know, Tracy's you parents, you know, the, the survivors. I was going to say so much more, that's it. At the end there. So, um, what was the question? Oh yeah, doings. I always like to have doings. Uh, you know, Jane was a man of a few words, but he had a lot of props and stuff. So I worked real hard with the prop guys, and, and this hat just fit perfect. I mean, oh my God, this is this is a gold mine. This is like a birthday cake in a, in a, in a uh, like a wasteland. <laughs> Say again? You, you made a choice actually to wear that throughout the entire episode. And I, I, well, I, Tim, Tim agreed after I twisted his arm a little bit, so thank you for that. Um, it, it turned out okay at the end. Thank you. It turned out very well, but I feel like you're talking to your Alan, I, I think that uh, we have a special purpose for this hat, don't we? I was asked to... Uh, oh god, it's going to be a riot. <laughs> oh no, he's going to throw it. Oh, god, no. Don't do not throw it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, who's where's our line? Where's our line with the microphone? Ah, uh, right here. There you are. Adam has a question to ask, and the first person who gets it right is gonna find this hat. No, no, no. I'm still there. All right, here's a trivia question to win this beautifully knitted jean replica hat. It's a replica. It's a replica. I'll tell you, the original one went for five thousand dollars to charity. So thank you. And the trivia question is: On which planet did Tracy wish to be buried? Oh, can I answer that? <laughs> The name of the planet on which Tracy wished to be buried. If you don't know, it's okay. You can ask. You can ask your question. You won't lose your place in line. Who knows? You know. You may have created the show. All right. Spare your Tracy. Who knows? Somebody know? I have a date. This guy knows. White ball. White ball. Negative. Negative. No. Okay. Who knows the answer? Do you know it? One more guess. Wait. Do you think I you know? Pull it. Wait. Everybody's going. One more guess. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, we got to do this quick. Everybody's on Google on their phone. Why here? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just want you to know this gag was not my idea. <laughs> Does somebody know? I'll tell you what. Let's move on. We will, if someone comes to the microphone during the Q&A portion and has the answer, we will give away the hat. All right. Wait, Joss, do you remember? Oh, I already admitted I know. Okay. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm not sure who some of you are. Yeah. That's true. I'm a bit of a fog. Some of you may know from last night, a 